matter of survival for the Dutch. If it weren't for the 22,000 kilometers of dikes, a large part of this land would not even exist. But increasingly, the country's defense against the elements has to be strengthened against rising sea levels and storms. Kadir van Lohuis has lived on the water for decades and after documenting the effects of climate change in his own country and around the world, he says too much time is lost. It is quite possible that, that if nothing happens, that the Netherlands could face three meters sea level rise by the end of the century, which is in 80 years, which is one generation. So, and that would be catastrophic. It would mean that, that maybe cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, The Hague would, uh, would not exist anymore and have to be relocated. The dangers not only come from the sea, but also from the rivers that are swallowing more rainwater than before. Storms like these are increasingly common over the Dutch lowlands. These strong winds and high waves are threatening the country's dikes that were built hundreds of years ago, only up until here, and now have to be meters higher. A race against time as the climate is changing more rapidly than predicted. In 1953, thousands died in the south of the Netherlands during floods. After the disaster, large dams, sluices and storm surge barriers were constructed. The Maaslandkering, four times heavier than the Eiffel Tower in Paris, was built to protect the city of Rotterdam. Adaptation is culture in the Netherlands. We live with water already for thousands and thousands of years. As the world's only special envoy for water affairs, Henk Oving is tasked to take the Dutch water expertise to the rest of the world. The world has to acknowledge that too. You don't work with these challenges by looking back and uh, recover after disasters. No, adaptation is about looking ahead to the future and prepare yourself. Instead of working against the water, the Dutch are increasingly using its power to strengthen the coastline. This so-called sand engine is a natural way of creating a peninsula by using sand and currents, a method that is now also being used along the coast of the UK. But despite these innovations, Kadir is less optimistic the Netherlands can be saved in the long run. Well, it's, it's predicted that in, uh, 100, in 200, 300 years, that most of the Netherlands will not exist anymore. Even so, the Netherlands, a third of which is below sea level, is already beating the odds. And its centuries of knowledge of water management is seen as a key to its survival. Prime Minister Rutte has called this a day of action, uh, but action can only be taken if the world works together. And that is going to be the main challenge here during this summit, because what we've seen during the COVID-19 pandemic is that countries have been looking inward and been trying to help their own economy. So the big question is, are they, can, can they put their strength together and make this work as a collective? Step, thanks very much, Step Basson there in The Hague. Well,